the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here at Mystic Seaport in Mystic, Connecticut. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Mystic. And you may ask yourself, Mark, why are you doing something about such a small town? But what you need to know is Mystic, Connecticut, and actually Mystic Seaport is one of the top tourist destinations in the entire state of Connecticut. So if you're coming through Connecticut, you're probably gonna be coming through Mystic. And if you're from Connecticut, you've probably come to the seaport yourself on a school trip sometime in your life. And so I wanna give you the tours do's and especially don'ts of coming here to Mystic because this is a gorgeous area well worth coming to. We've actually been here four times or four separate over week long vacations. Our kids actually do camps here in the summer to enjoy sailing and science of the sea and all kinds of really cool stuff so it is a fantastic place for families but Let's get to the don'ts, because that's what you're here for. My first don't for you is, don't pass up coming to Mystic Seaport Museum. Look, they've recreated a 19th century sea village when you're here. It has the workshops, it has the buildings, it has all kinds of stuff you can go and see. And they have people, there's the interpreters that are here that are show how you make the horseshoes. You see the people that are there. And the interpreters here are knowledgeable and they give you the full background of what it was like to live in the seaport at that time and what all the workers were doing here. And what's cool is this is still kind of a working shipyard. I mean, they repair vessels over in the shipyards right behind you. The Morgan's actually out right now getting worked on, but you can come here and you can visit the ships. You can go on a boat ride out into the water here in the Mystic River. I mean, it's a really cool place to be. And the thing is, it's for kids, it's for adults, it's for anybody that wants to be here because this is probably one of the things that if you talk to anybody from Connecticut, they probably came here to find out more about, you know, Connecticut's history with the sea. So don't pass up coming here. And the thing is, they have the historic stuff. They have the boats you can visit, the ships you can visit. They've got a planetarium here. There's restaurants here. You'll be fine when you come. So you have that. But I do have a little don't. If you stay here till close, the exhibits close at five, right? But uh, Greenmanville Ave, the Greenmanville Avenue that's right outside, about five o'clock is kind of like standstill stuff. So if it closes up, maybe just take in the, the aesthetics for a few minutes and take your time getting to your car because traffic's gonna kind of suck at about five o'clock on that road right out there. So just, just letting you know, okay? You know, another thing I think is important is when you look up Mystic, Connecticut, like if you look it up on Google, sometimes it says, oh, Stonington or it might say Groton. You're like, wait, I want to go to Mystic, Connecticut. What is that? Well, what you have to realize is Mystic isn't just like one place. Mystic is kind of a collection these days of, of some places together. So you have the Mystic River that goes through the middle. There's actually a drawbridge, which is cool, but can be annoying when you're driving. That's right there. And you have Stonington on one side and there's Mystic where the Mystic Seaport is. And there's the borough of Stonington farther down the way. Then the other side, there's Groton. And then you go down to No Ankh with Fords, Lobster and the Ruffes and Abbots. And you have all these different parts. And what's important is look and see what you're gonna be doing while you're here. If you're gonna be doing stuff, maybe you're going to New England, uh, Science and Salem, you're gonna do something there. You're coming, gonna do a lot of stuff here at the seaport. Or if you're gonna go to Stonington, or if you're gonna be going over to Westerly in Rhode Island, you're gonna stay on the Stonington inside okay if you're gonna be doing like look I'm just here to eat forwards in the rough lobster bisque the bisque bomb and I'm going to Abbott's and, and going over to New London doing some stuff there then stay on the Groton side okay because my next don't for you is don't think that whatever Google says that the time is to get someplace is actually what it's gonna do because when you have to drive through the center of town if that drawbridge is up it's going to take you a few extra minutes. So when you think it's five, it might be 15. Nothing really big, but when you're here to relax and just enjoy this super cute town and this super cute area around here, it can get a bit frustrating. And when you are going around, I think another important don't, and this is where I see some accidents happen here is, don't forget, pedestrians have the right of way here. And if you're on the main drag in downtown Mystic, where the bridge is, you'll see there's all kinds of crosswalks and the pedestrians just walk right out. You've got to be paying attention and not just right in front of you, but also paying attention in the front of the car, in front of the car, in front of the car, in front of you, in case they're stopping. Because since traffic goes so slow through the center, sometimes you have a little fender bender. So, so just be careful with that, but do always give those pedestrians a right away. Now let's move on to a little bit of food stuff because I think we all agree that one of the best parts of vacation and traveling is having the food and, and here in Mystic is no different. You have really fantastic food in here. Obviously seafood is the thing to do. And for me, what you need to get is because you don't get these everywhere. You want to go to Sea Swirl and get yourself some whole belly clams. I mean, you know, clam strips, fried, fried clams. Yeah, yeah, the strips, yeah, they're really great. Oh, they're fantastic. But when you get whole belly clams, it's like the strip and their belly's on there and it's just like, Oh, it's so good. But Sea Swirl, 
you can get them right there. They are amazing. Also, don't worry about getting lobster when you're here. You'll get plenty because if you're at the sea swirl, yes, you can get a hot lobster roll, which is, you know, the lobster roll with the lobster in there with some, you know, melted butter. Or you can get the cold you know, lobster salad roll if you like the colder version of it. Both fantastic. But I, I want to tell you is the seafood here, don't think it's going to be cheap no matter where you go. You're going to spend some money when you're here in Mystic. It's, it's not the cheapest place to be. But I will say the money I have spent, I haven't been upset about spending it because everything's been worthwhile, especially when it comes to the food. And that's why I think it's important to reinforce the lobsters. Don't forget to grab some of the best lobster and lobster dishes around town. One, Ford's Lobster in the Rough and No Egg. That is my go-to every time we come here, multiple times. I get the bisque bomb. It's a bread bowl and they put lobster in it and then they pour lobster bisque into that and it's unbelievable. Jocelyn had the lobster the thermidor fantastic liam had the lobster mac and cheese it was great and, and i feel Ford's has got more of like creative dishes with the lobster if you want like old-fashioned no dude i want lobster i want to crack it and eat it and just go to town that's when you want abbott's and abbott's is actually just down the way from uh Ford's if you're going if you're in noank which is on the groton side okay over there Super amazing, super amazing. So you'll eat well. If you want clam chowder, there's tons of great places. In Grodden, I recommend the Fisherman. That's got a, that's got some really good, 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 fantastic clam chowder when you're there. But yeah, like eating, not really a problem when you're here in Mystic. Now, one of the problems you do have in Mystic and a real serious don't I have for you is don't buy gas in Mystic. Look, seriously, just like leave, like drive five minutes out, 10 minutes out from Mystic, you're gonna save yourself money. I mean, and if you wanna have a nice time, actually drive, I mean like 10, 15 minutes down the road to Westerly, Rhode Island, super cute town, by the way, super cute town. And I mean, literally it was 25 cents less in, in Westerly than it was just across the border in Connecticut. And, and and that was a lot cheaper than it was here in Mystic. So so if you're gonna be coming here, you know, fill up before you get to Mystic. Now, probably the most famous movie that people know about Mystic is probably Mystic Pizza, right? I mean, it's been a few decades since that came out, but it's still a popular thing. And yes, you can go to Mystic Pizza right downtown, but my don't for you is don't think that Mystic Pizza is the only pizza in town. The locals will probably tell you that you need to go to Stonington Pizza Parlor to get yourself some pizza, but don't worry, you're downtown, you can go and just grab a single slice when you're at Mystic Pizza, no problem, but there are other options out there, you know, Annie's isn't too bad either. Now, another don't I have for you is don't forget that you can use Mystic as a base to explore more of New England and more cities around here because there's an Amtrak station right here in town and you can go to Boston, it's an hour and a half away and there's multiple trains there and back a day. So you can leave in the morning, spend all day there, have lunch, have dinner, come back in the evening and have all your stuff here and make it a day trip. You wanna to go to New York City? It's about two hours to go there. You wanna to go to Providence and go have some Portuguese food? 45 minutes to Providence on the train, but you have a lot of really great connections from right here and it's super, super easy. It's like this quaint little, you know, train station has a, you know, cafe inside and, and, and you'll be be fine. I mean, just get the Amtrak app, you can buy your tickets there, and boom, you're off and back in no time. Now, another don't I have for when you're here is, look, don't ever pass up a parking spot. If you're driving into town, you go, oh, this could be okay, just take that parking spot. Because honestly, when you're around Mystic, there's so, there's not, like no parking spots, but it can be a little complicated finding the spots. So if you see one, just take it, just take it. Just take it, okay? I mean, what we actually do is we will plan what side of the bridge we're gonna do most of our stuff that day, and we'll go and leave our car on that side and be like, look, we're staying over here, I'm not worried about it, and we deal with that, but it's whenever we find the first, bestest, okayest, whatever is, it is acceptable parking spot, empty spot, take it. Now, a kind of serious thing I wanna talk about when you're looking at don'ts is don't forget to bring your bug spray and tick spray when you are coming here because there is a lot of bugs here. There's a lot of ticks here and you're gonna do hikes around the area. You can do that. But the thing is those little bugs and those little ticks, they are here. So, you know, you gotta be careful with it. If you're here with your dog, or you're here with your kids, make sure you check them when they come in for the day to, you know, make sure there's no ticks or no bugs that are eating them because, you know, Lyme disease is a serious thing. Now, my next don't for you is more of a kind of a, a, a tourism kind of information thing. I will say don't expect a lot of chain hotels or chain restaurants when you come to Mystic. This is very much you're going to be staying at an inn 
or a bed and breakfast, or you're gonna rent a house when you are here. I mean, there's a Howard Johnson's I think up the road, but there's not really a lot of chain hotels. So if you're looking for places, don't think it's gonna show up on your Hilton or your Marriott app, okay? What you might need to do is just zoom in on Google onto Mystic and look around and see what ends pop up and then click on there and go to their website or get them the call to, to book a room. Oh, I forgot one food thing. Um, if you're looking for something for breakfast, if you're looking for some really a really great bakery, on the Groton side, you have Sift, which is a fantastic bakery. Like the croissants were fantastic. The little raisins swirly things were amazing. And this rhubarb thing was amazing. But the macrons, oh my gosh, it was like taking us back to France. I actually like the key lime ones the best. They were awesome. Liam liked the funfetti one. Jocelyn was up with me with key lime. I mean, they were great, but that is a bakery that's worth walking around the corner in Groton for and going and get some stuff when you're there. Now, another don't I have for you is you're not just going to stay here in Mystic. You're going to go explore more. And I always say, if you're going to do one kind of day trip out of Mystic, go the 20 to 30 minutes north of here and go to the Pequot Museum or the Mashantucket Pequot Museum. Because what they've had, they've actually recreated a Pequot village inside the museum. And the work that they did on the people there, I'm like, I'm getting goosebumps because it's like real people. Like you can see the scars, you can see the tattoos, you can really see and feel the people. And it's a fantastic museum. Museum, so you can learn about the Native American history of this region. So definitely go up there. It's also where the Foxwood uh, Resort is. So people sometimes go up there for some gambling because there are other options of things to do. And I think that's why it's important that I will finish with this. Our last dome for coming to Mystic is don't think it's just history. Yes, the seaport is super cool and going to see the beautiful homes and when you're going to Stonington and, and the antiquing that's there. I mean, the antique trail comes through here. Also, the Connecticut Wine Trail comes through Mystic as well, so you have that. But also, you've got the Mystic Aquarium right off the highway you can go visit, the boat tours and boat rides you can do. Heck, we had a fantastic time going sport fishing out in Long Island Sound and farther afield. You have so many things you can do and enjoy when you're here. Heck, walking downtown, checking out the Magical Toy Store is awesome, or, or, or the candy shops that are here, or the shopping that's here for the art or the antiques, like I said. There's a lot of stuff for people to do when you do come here to Mystic. And I do hope you have a great time. Don't worry, you will. We've come here for years, we'll be coming back again. So I wanna say a special thank you to everybody here at Mystic Seaport for showing us a great time yet again when we've been here. If you wanna learn more about coming to Connecticut, we've got the Don'ts of Visiting Connecticut on Jocelyn's channel. We have what to eat when you visit Connecticut. And yes, the New Haven style pizza, you can get stuff like that here too. Uh, but I go for the uh, Stonington Pizza Parlor, remember, for some good bite, some good uh, there. Anyway. I wish y'all the best and bye from Mystic Seaport here in Mystic, Connecticut.